was like one of those. Yup, you know what this is, man. This is your favorite channel, man. This is CTB, Chin Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy, Jay Slay. Say what up to him, man. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. You know what you're tuning in to, man? This is the show we like to call Chin Check, man, where we check your chin with boxing rumors. And, of course, we talk about fights that just happened this past weekend. We got two other fights. We already broke down, I think, the front door fight to the death. We didn't kill that, that fight. So we're going to talk about the other two fights that got buried. This weekend, let's talk about Triple G and Ryan Garcia, man. Uh, both of these guys had lackluster, to say the least, uh, appearances. More so Garcia than Triple G. Triple G did get his guy out of there. Uh, it just took a little longer than we expected. So I'm asking you a real tough question, man. Has any of those guys, has Ryan Garcia or Triple G, raised their stock any when it comes to future opponents? Do you think Triple G raised his stock when it comes to fighting Canelo? And do you think Ryan Garcia raised his stock when it comes to fighting any of the other top 135-pound fighters? I'm going to uh, keep it quick and short. <laughs> <laughs> For Garcia, man, I'm going to be honest. This is my honest opinion, and, and I'm and I'm talking to him personally. Like, look, his heart is not in the sport completely. He got He's juggling too many things, and in boxing, it's, it's not nothing you can play with. So my opinion is... If, if this is not what he want to do, it, you lost your endorsement from Canelo. The, 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 the face of boxing don't want to deal with you no more. So that tell you a lot right there. So to me, go ahead, man. Just talk the talk. Get the biggest fight you can get. Get it on pay-per-view. Cash out. Get your ass knocked out. Get, get your tank fight. Get your Devin Haney or Clem Bosa winner. Or get your Lomachenko fight. And just, just get you a nice payday, man. And go be an internet star youtube world slash social media superstar that you want to be man that that's my opinion from ryan garcia i'm gonna keep it short and sweet because let's looking at that fight man i didn't see nothing to think he's ready for cambosa i don't think he's ready for uh for a cruise i don't think he's ready for uh haney i don't think he's ready for tank davis i don't think he's ready for lomachenko he, he is way i thought he was he was getting better but now i'm starting to see him regress he's going the wrong way and he's too young to be going the opposite direction, which lets me know that he's not pitting his time and his heart into the sport. As far as Triple G, man. Hold on one, one second before you go Triple G. I want to kind of stay on Ryan before I lose my train of thought. Okay. Before we get on Triple G, just focus on Ryan real quick. You said he wasn't ready for Cruz. They was linked to fight each other. People forget before he fought this guy, a lot of people was, he was calling out Cruz. He was telling Tank that you, you had a hard, you had a hard time with this C-level fighter. And Cruz got mad, and Cruz was sending contracts and was ready to fight and everything. So to go and be calling out Cruz so hard, to then fight this guy who came from nowhere, we don't, we never seen him fight on this stage at all, and he survives you, bro. He, he, while he did survive the fight, he got, he did what he got paid to do. He got paid to go in the fight, lose the fight, but he wanted to survive. He didn't want to be a highlight real knockout. Why do you think? Why do you think Garcia keep getting away with these call outs and then giving us these opponents, uh, giving these type of fights with these level opponents? I, I don't know, man. I think I think Ryan Garcia does have a big following and his followers are casual boxing fans. They don't know a lot about the sport. They're more memorized by like his, his looks and his style and his little fast videos and punching people and, and uh, famous people in the stomach to see if they take his punch. So he got a lot of internet fans that don't really watch. He got a lot of Jake Paul type fans. You know what I'm saying? Right. They they tune in for an event, uh, but not really follow boxing. So even though those fans are there, they don't really know that he's not ready for those top guys. They just know that Ryan Garcia is winning. And so, I mean, for him, it works. But that's I think that's the main reason why people are still attached to Ryan Garcia. All right, one last question on Ryan Garcia. Uh, how much of that performance do you think was because he had a change of trainers? Like you said, he was in the Canelo camp. He was uh, Eddie Reynoso for a couple fights. He looked great with that camp because they obviously pushed him. They obviously had him in the gym. Like Canelo said, once he started getting out of the gym, started looking bad, he wasn't coming to the gym like he's supposed to. He got with, now he's with Ted Goosen, uh, Joe Goosen. Now he's with Joe Goosen. How much of that do you consider it could just because he's not used to that type of trainer? Um, I think it played a little bit into it, but you can tell, to me, it's something 
they don't have a their connection now yet because he was giving him a lot of advice and he wasn't using it. He kept telling him to use his jab. Use your jab, use the jab. He refused to use his jab. He chased the guy around the wing looking for that one big shot, trying to get the guy out of there. He did not use the jab. And then he talked about it for the fight, about his, his jab that he established and that Joe Goosen was like, you know, we're working on the jab. And I didn't see it. All I saw was the guy chicken, chasing a chicken around the ring He's try, trying to catch it pretty much. Not calling the guy a chicken like scary, but yeah. you know, they're trying to catch a chicken. But that's all I saw the whole fight. So. I don't know if it's just they don't have that chemistry yet or he just want to do what he want to do. I don't know which one it is. All right, this is about Ryan Garcia. I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the news media for the weeks coming, calling out another fighter. He's probably calling out Tank Davis after Tank Davis and Roley fight. Uh, he probably even call out Roley. You know, if Roley happened to win or lose, he probably call out Roley or something and say, Tank, you beat Roley. He was a C-level fighter. I- I'm going to beat Roley. And then he'll never go and fight Roley. This probably was going to be the next move. But let's talk about Triple G, man. Triple G for the guy. If we said it was going to be a tough fight, we knew it was going to be a tough fight. Um, but Marata, we knew he had some wrinkles in his game that was going to give Triple G some problems, especially the aging Triple G that a lot of people seem to forget how old he is. Has Triple G raised your stock any when it comes to his chances, in your opinion, in beating Canelo? Not at all. He just, to me, it more confirmed that he's going to take a, a beat and then they fight in uh, September. It's gonna be bad to me. Like Triple G, like with the uh, Mar- Marata, uh, he was having a hard time in the first five five rounds or so, and he started to turn on his power started to kick in. And if you know anything about boxing, the last thing to go is your power. So he still can hit, and he still can take a punch. So to me, the only thing that's in question about the Canelo fight, if Canelo is, is the win, his first his fight coming up in May is that can he stop him? because i know triple g got an eye chin and i think he might can survive for the, the whole fight but it's gonna be an ass whooping <laughs> like it's gonna be bad like i like i said that's one of my if we ain't gonna talk about odds and stuff yet we get more into that but it's gonna be an ass whooping it's gonna be a, it's gonna be bad it's not gonna be a close competitive fight he gonna beat him for, for 12 rounds my only question is is would triple g be standing at the end of the 12 rounds yeah, I kind of agree with that. I'm going to play devil's advocate a little bit, though. I'm going to say Triple G is a notorious slow starter. Why I never took him five rounds to usually start. It usually takes about two or three before you start starting, like starting to kick it in a little bit. You don't want to get behind on a scorecard five to nothing against Canelo because he's already up two before the fight started. I'm being honest. So I agree with you. He's going to get beat. He's going to be a beat down, man. But I will say this, though. Canelo also has looked like to slow down a little bit. While like he has been fighting a better competition, and he has been getting a better competition out of there, he did start Killer Plant. He did knock out uh, Billy Joe Saunders. He has looked in spots to be vulnerable in spots, too. Like, he's shown that he can be hit against Killer Plant. This Killer Plant didn't have the punch that really affected it all. You think Triple G can actually get that shot off on Canelo? Because he had close the first two fights, but Canelo has an underrated chin also. So what is the odds you think? And would you make that bet if it's high and it's really a good chance of it happening of Canelo being stopped late by Triple G? It's slim. It's slim. Would you I make think, that bet? <laughs> well, I bet it depends on what the odds is. It would have wow. to be probably the one as far as the knockoff of Triple G for me to take those odds because it's gonna have to be a perfect, lucky slash. Canelo taking him for granted and being reckless for him to land that shot. All those factors have to all come together for him to land that perfect shot and knock him out. If he got the power to do it, yeah. If he hit him on the button, he can pick uh, anybody lights out. But I don't see that with Canelo. I, I just see, I, if you look at the second fight, to me, he beat him up kind of bad. He, he talked about, he, he, not, he not Mexican style fight. I want big drama show. And he stood in front of him the whole fight and beat his ass to me. He still he, he didn't he didn't move. He still in front of the whole fight and beat him. So I think he's gonna take the same approach in this fight. He's not gonna do a lot of dancing around. He's gonna use his upper body movement, which is the best in the game, and he's just gonna counter the shit out of him and beat him up. And he's gonna look like an old man because Triple G is going this way and Canelo is going this way. He's gotten a lot better since that last fight three years ago. Might be longer than that, but I think it's at least three years ago. About three years, yeah. Yeah, and oh, Triple G yeah. is going the other way. He's getting Good, older. Four years. Yeah, four years ago. So he's older, he's slower, his reflexes is worse. So I don't know how in the hell he can pull off the upset, but the one 
uh, thing that's going in his favor is that that godly power he got. So we'll have to see. It didn't look too, it didn't look too godly to me in his last fight. We knew he was gonna stop Marata. Marata took some shit in there. But I'm gonna be honest, Super G Power hasn't been the same since he fought Canelo. Like he hasn't been knocking out people the way he was knocking them out since he fought Canelo. I don't know if it's because his confidence went down. Or like you said, maybe he's just getting too older, man. Or he just can't catch he can't catch him the way he used to catch him. His power's still there, he's just not catching him as clean as he normally did. Um, and all the level of competition is me could have to do with it. Competition has went up since then. We'll see, man. But like you said, I don't think his stock rose at all. Um, this fight was how we thought it was going to go. But you got anything else to add to this topic, man? I really don't know what to talk about about Triple G. Yeah. We covered it off with those two fights. Like I said, the other fight of the night stole the night with Pandora and, and Lubin. And so I don't want to spend too much time on this fight. Like I said, we'll see you know, later this year what those guys can do. Most definitely. With that being said, man, this is your favorite channel, man, CTB. This is Chan Tuck Boxing. I'm your boy, Jay Slay. Fit peace to him, man. All right, everybody, remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, comment. Let's keep this channel going. You know why? Because we love boxing and you love boxing. But most of all, God, peace and love, and we out of here.